just sit right back and grab some tales, the tales of some tasty shrimp. Sensations now at Applebee's are really worth the trip. Saute crisp fries, the fire grill is served on a handy skewer. So many shrimp you'll want to plan a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. So join us here this week, my friend. It's time for eating good. Shrimp sensations new at Applebee's in your neighborhood. Thank you, totally hoes. This was a hard one. It was a hard. It was a hard one because I, Applebee's is such a weird restaurant to me you know, personally because I travel I'm on the road a lot. Applebee's, their ad might as well just say, "Hey." You can walk there from your cheap hotel. <laughs> <laughs> because it's always kind of in some weird mini mall of hotels, and they're, they're trying to make it hip by having these two young, hip guys who we all know. Who are they? And then they're singing the Gilligan's Island song, which is so ultra hip that they had to have bought the DVD box set to even see it. When, how can you even watch Gilligan's Island anymore? You can't see it. That's such a throwback reference for these young guys to be using. And then they're singing about fried shrimp, and it's just like, look, I. I'll eat at Applebee's, but stop trying to make me think that it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Margo. Is, is Gilligan spinning in his grave? <laughs> you know, I've never seen an episode. I wouldn't have a really? clue. Generational gap. You grew up on an island. <laughs> You're from New Zealand. Isn't that a lot like Gilligan's Island? <laughs> they let us off the Gilligan's Island thing, <laughs> mercifully. Um, you know, I was a little puzzled by it as well. I mean, you know, it's cute, it's appealing. Um, although I, I would challenge anybody to spend three hours at an Applebee's restaurant. <laughs> that way lies madness. <laughs> but, you know, it's like Applebee's, as far as I can see, has two selling points, right? Quantity of food and proximity. And they get them both in here. You know, there's lots of shrimp and it's in your neighborhood. And then there's lots of sort of bright, bouncy colors. And really, that was about it for me. <laughs> what was the deal with the tide? The tide came in, and, and is that, are they threatening their customers? I don't see the point. And I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to make the shrimp look better, which looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would just not want to eat this stuff. Um, I thought, actually, one of the things that was sort of interesting about this is the way in which ads now parody themselves, so that everything yeah. looks like a Simpsons parody of the ad, that, or whatever the product is they're trying to sell you to begin with, which I think is really amusing. But. That must have paid a billion dollars because everybody's got that, uh, like, yeah. like, you know, etched in their Hey, brain. you know what, John? The reason that, um, that that theme song from Gilligan's Island is so powerful and etched in our memories, at least one of them, is because it's written in what's called ballad meter. And many other songs are, uh, among them, Stairway to Heaven, uh, The House of the Rising Sun, <laughs> and Amazing Grace, and on and on. And it's the reason you can sing all of those songs to the tune of the other songs. Mm -hmm. And to prove it, I'm going to sing Amazing Grace to the tune of Gilligan's Island. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, now I can see. Now you guys can have some fun. <laughs> He received yeah. our education virtue. <laughs> wow, you went deep for that. <laughs> like, that's like right on that nerve center. Like, wow. I had managed to avoid to not have that song in my head all day. Yeah, but now, now, I can just <laughs> now can you do Gilligan's Island to the amazing grace? <laughs> can you? I bet he can. We'll just work on it for a second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just said. <laughs> Right back, and you'll hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah obviously. Um, well, I, yeah, I, this one was just, it seemed like they just kept adding more things. You know, I'm trying to imagine them coming up with this commercial idea, and it's like Applebee's, and we got a lot of kinds of shrimp, and no, well, that's not enough. People won't just come here because we have a lot of kinds of, well, okay, two guys are singing a song about how much shrimp we have. Okay, are they young and hip? Yeah, they're young and hip. And uh, what, it's Gilligan's Island. They're going to sing to the Gilligan's Island song. Well, and we'll put them in the water. And that, well, that's, they're in the water, that's not funny. What if the tide's coming in and then a shark goes by? It's just like more and more ridiculous. <laughs> and then they actually, it, it, when you were saying like what, the way it pays off, it's, I don't know, it's been taking up time, but it, it's <laughs> one of those jokes that I had to watch 10 times to figure out what yeah. it was, but when that woman is sprayed in the face, yeah. it's because these guys are wet from the tide, you know, and I, I just That's thought it was real like confusing. No, I know, but I mean, it's just like, it. you know, what are they <laughs> wasting time for? <laughs> I want my life back. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we thought Gilligan's Island would play all day, every day, in perpetuity, and it's got to be fading some at this point. Yeah. I mean, I know it's an incredibly powerful cultural icon, but I don't think it's got the power with the, you know, with the teens and, and even younger at this point. So they're, they're certainly aiming at a cohort. 
and it's probably Applebee's prime demographic. <laughs> Let's aim at the middle of the belt, you know. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe they're really talking to us. And they're saying, "You're still young. We're still young." <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm kind of surprised they couldn't get any of the actors. I mean, who's left? There's, uh, you know, just Marianne, Ginger, and the professor. The only ones that are left. Right. But if they put them in, then it would be obvious that they were old. So they get yeah, two young right, guys to come exactly. in and go. Right. They're young. They're or still... they were funny. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody introduced me to Don Wells a couple years ago and just said, John, this is Don, Don, this is John. I like, that's, that's Marianne, that's not Don. You know? but she looks just the same as she did then. So oh, she's I, dating I, a guy who's 70. I met Tina Louise and I said, you know, what do you do? Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she doesn't Aww. look the same. <laughs> I know. Well said. Okay, time for our exit question. A three Apple hour tour, too. what's a good way to spend three hours, <laughs> Margaret? I could answer that, John, but that would take the family out of family restaurants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. In my life, baby. <laughs> Sam? Well, you said you said good, not great. So uh, I'll say watching an NFL game. <laughs> I love that you said kind of a sex answer, because that's what I was thinking. But then I thought, well, then I've still got two hours and 55 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I going to do? I don't know. Usually it's the TV. <laughs> Six back-to-back -back episodes of Gilligan. That's all we got time for. Come play with us again next week on Mental Engineering.